Welcome. Welcome to the Virtual Cheese Awards 2022, showcasing the best of British cheese. I, I'm Helen Blair and work for a company called Good Sense Research, and we'll be moderating the session today. Today, this we'll be judging cow's milk hard cheese. I'd now like to introduce you to our two judges. Alan, would you like to say a few words and then we can pass over to Morgan? Hi, good afternoon. I uh, My name is Alan Stewart. I'm the head chef at Newton Somerset in the heart of Somerset in the heart of Cheddar country um, and my partner's from Normandy so I've spent a life surrounded by cheese. And Morgan do you want to introduce yourself? Um, I'm Morgan McGlynn and I am from Cheeses of Muscle Hill and um, we're a 40 year old uh, family run cheese shop so I've had it since I was like 90 so been in the world of cheese for a little while. Um, yeah. okay. So the judges will use a point system today for scoring the cheese. It gets five, five attributes and the winner will be the cheese with the most points and will go forward to the best category stage. So the, uh, the attributes that we're scoring on are appearance, aroma, texture, true to character and flavour. And it's a square of 10 for each of those. So the first cheese we've got is F, F10-1148. So over to you guys, if you want to talk us through the appearance. I've kept mine wrapped so that I know the numbers. Okay. Because the World Cheese Award, I just lost track. <laughs> a disaster. Okay, amazing. Perfect. Yeah, so I- You want to go first, Morgan? Yeah, so gorgeous. Um, Mold rind, really, really lovely texture to it, quite crumbly. Um, quite dry, but very pretty, and got really strong aroma actually. Um, really smells lovely, and the texture looks quite good as well. Yeah, I thought, yeah, it looks a little dry, but nice and crumbly. Um, yeah, has, yeah, a real strong earthy smell, I'd say, to it. Yeah, um, uh, but yeah, looks uh, definitely interesting. That's let me put on. Mm. It's a lot drier than I thought it would be actually. Yeah. A lot, lot more moist than um, it actually tastes, but it's very good. It's got that yarg esque to it. Yeah, definitely. Yeah. Like very mature Wensleydale, but very tasty, really nice lingering flavour. Yeah, the, the flavour is lovely and lingering um, and almost different to the earthy, slightly slightly fresher in flavour really, um, yeah. the earthy smell and then the fresh flavour and um, yeah you're right I thought it'd be a lot drier but it's got not too much crumble to it. Really um, nice actually. It's quite nice. Could eat that all day, so that's a good sign. Um, true to character, yes I'd say so, um, yeah. a little bit of like a nice surprise. Yeah. Um, the flavour just keeps going and going and going. So, yeah, 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 I'd agree. Really, really nice. Um, so, what would you what would you score on appearance? So, appearance is really interesting. Um, I'd say it's very different. So, I would probably give it maybe a three. Are we we're doing out of five, aren't we? Out of ten. Out of ten. Oh no, then I would give it a six. Yeah, I, I yeah, I'd give it a um, a five on appearance. Yeah. I would do 5.5, 5.5. There yeah. you go. I don't need to do that. Perfect. Split the difference. Aroma. Aroma. I love it. It reminds me of my cheese store. So <laughs> Yeah, it is that kind of, it's, you, you think you're in a cave or underground, don't you? But straight away. So I think yeah, really, really nice. Um really like the yeah. aroma. Yeah. So for me, I would say aroma, maybe an eight actually, um, because it's quite unusual to get a really nice strong rind like that. Yeah. That's really good. Yeah, I'd agree with that. Yeah. And the texture? Texture is gorgeous. I think texture's spot on. It's exactly what you want it to be. It crumbles, it's delicious. Um, I, yeah, I would probably go nine. I know that sounds generous, but it's really, really good. Okay, I'd probably go eight on texture, just a personal favour. I think it's really nice, but I think for me, um, yeah, it could be a a little bit more, a little bit harder, I think, just slightly less crumble for me, but yeah, I'd probably go eight, something like that. Okay. And then flavour? 
play that? I really like it. Um, I would say it does exactly what it says on the tin. It's that kind of, that area of cheese where a uh, really nice crumble, like we said, when you sleep out esque So I would say, I would give it maybe six to seven. Yeah, I think the flavour is really nice. And I'd agree with you. I'd say that's probably around a 6.5 would be, would be about right for me. And true to character, I would say yes, definitely. Um, I don't know how we score true to character because it seems like it ticks the box. So yeah. maybe we give it an eight because it is exactly what it says on the tin. Yeah, agreed. That's fine, I mean. Okay. And the next one we're doing is F101145. I feel like we're a very efficient team. <laughs> That's good. I like it. <laughs> Okay, so I've got this one wrapped. There's a, there's a lot to get through, so. Yeah, I know. <laughs> it's like really crumbly. So crumbly, wow. Okay. Well, it's quite moist as well, though. Yeah. Yeah, yeah. moist and crumbly. Yeah. Great. All right, appearance is just exactly what you'd expect. There's nothing kind of groundbreaking about it. Um, aroma is nice. It's not overpowering. It's not massively strong. Sorry, that is my puppy. <laughs> it <laughs> yeah, it's not, I'd say it's, uh, standard's a weird word, but I, it's kind of what I'd expect from this category in terms of smell and like yeah. nothing like out of the ordinary or anything like that. Just yeah. Uh, I think it's great if you wanted a cheddar that's quite versatile. That kind of is in that area. Yeah. Really, it's really crumbly in the mouth, though, isn't it? It's not. Yeah, it's very moist as well, so it's kind of a, a strange one. But yeah, I like it. I would say for me, appearance um, four. Um, it's quite nice, but yeah. Yeah. Um, yeah. I, I. Yeah. I think that it's. Um, yeah, it's not one that you that jumps out of you, is it? So yeah, yeah, a four or five, I'd say, yeah. Yeah. Um, and then aroma. As I said, there's not a huge amount. So I would say maybe a three, four for me. Yeah, I think it's a kind of average, I think it sits in the middle, right? There. Yeah, three, four, five around that area. Yeah. I do four. Yeah, go on. Um, texture. I mean, it's crumbly, it's great. People love this kind of cheese. This is the type of stuff that sells in the shop. Um, yeah. So that's really good. And I would say, yeah, I'd probably give it a six, seven on that. Yeah, yeah, I'd say, yeah, seven. Just because you're right, it's the kind of cheese that people will definitely pick up every time they see it. Yeah, exactly. It's a really good one. Yeah. Um, I put seven. Yeah, yeah. amazing. Okay. True to character. Again, it's great. It's it's got that cheddar style to it. It's fantastic. It's exactly what you'd expect. So yes. I would say around a seven. Yeah, perfect. I'd agree with that. And then taste. I would say this is the bit that like it's lovely. It's really nice. Um, not my favorite ever, but I would say somewhere around five six. Yeah, I I I'd yeah, probably add uh, to what, just five for me. I think there's an acidity to it that I don't really like. Um, that comes through, um, but it has got that creaminess to it. It's got a, cr a crumbly texture. It's got a creamy flavour, but there's a little bite of acidity. So yeah, probably around a five for me. A five? Was it five point yeah. five or yeah? Five. Yeah. Five. yeah. Okay. And on the next one, so F ten one zero five three. F ten zero five three. This bad boy. Okay. okay. Sorry, okay. Well, already that smells amazing. Uh, that's got an interesting um, interesting rind or wrap on it, hasn't it? That's like hops or something. Yeah. Okay. Again, gorgeously bouncy. Like not what I'd expect. Not super super hard. No, it's, it's um, yeah, really springy. Yeah, appearance is beautiful, actually. Really pretty. Again, would look amazing on a cheese board. Yeah, really interesting as well. Yeah. 
and then smell I think is really lovely really lovely aroma really fresh mm. kind of got that I don't know what it is it smells theory or something. yeah but quite herbaceous as well doesn't it it's, um, yeah. yes really lovely smell but very different yeah texture is again bouncy that kind of morbier but yeah taste isn't very strong it's quite mild um yeah the taste of the the wrap of the wine is much stronger than anything in the cheese yeah. i actually feel like the the rind is giving it the aroma is giving it more taste than taste is yeah. very very nice yeah i'd agree with you on that um yeah, it's got that more beer type type texture, but yeah, not really the punch of cheese flavor you'd expect from a cheese like that. Um, but it's very nice, and it's got that you know, this is something you'd recommend to on the mild end end of things. Yeah, definitely. Paired with a really good drink or a beer, would be beautiful. Yeah. Um, so I'd say appearance, I think, is gorgeous. I think that's so nice. I would say anywhere from kind of eight nine to me because. Yeah, I'd give it an eight for appearance. I think it's really different and I think it looks really nice. And yeah. then aroma, again, I think is up there for me. I think that's like yeah. an eight. It's beautiful, the smell. The smell is better than the taste, which is yeah, quite I, <laughs> it's like Yeah, I, I completely agree with you. I think the aroma is really different, really interesting. Um, and yeah, I'd give it an eight. Um, Definitely. Tech mm -hmm. Yeah. Um, I would say it's bouncy, like we said, it's got more beer, so it, it kind of melts in your mouth, but it's still got a bit of bite to it. Um, so I would say probably a six or seven for me. For me, a little bit lower. It's 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 like more beer, but not quite like more beer, I'd say. Um, so I'd probably give it a five on texture. Um, as I say, like the smell and the appearance really drew me in, and I feel that the texture just a little bit is a little bit lacking for me. It's a little bit bouncy for me. Yeah. Shall we go, you said five, six, seven, shall we go six? Yeah. Okay. <laughs> Seems like a good middle ground. Yeah, exactly. Okay, and flavour? Flavour for me, I would say it's very mild. That's the thing, it's a bad thing, because I think there's lots of people that would love it. But for me, it would be around the four, five, um, just because, it, again, it's all about the aroma and not a huge amount of overpower, like there's no huge flavour in it. Yeah, I, I'd agree on that. I think that it's... It's all about the smell and the look of this cheese and then the flavour. As you say, it might appeal to someone from my personal taste. I'd put it around the floor, probably. Yeah. I just feel like there's not much going on. Okay. So I put 4.5. Yeah. And then true to character. True to character. Do you know what? It's so unusual. Um, but it, it does what it's on the chin. Again, it's like a semi-hard cheese. So I would say maybe six. Yeah, I'd say six as well. Yeah. Okay. And the next one is F101025. Okay, amazing. So I'm already running out of room. <laughs> okay, let's have a look. Okay. So, wow, this has got a wax wrapping on it. Oh, wait, where am I? I'm on the wrong bloody cheese. I have 225, this one. And yeah, that one. I think it's that oh, one. That's one. Like jumping the gun. Yeah, one zero two five. <laughs> okay, yeah, this is perfect. Amazing. Appearance gorgeous, cute little. Very, very good. Aroma, lots of strong flavour there. Yeah. That smells really nice, actually. Yeah, it is. Um, it smells really nice, and it's got, again, that kind of, not quite as bouncy as the previous one, but that bouncy kind of texture to it. It looks really creamy and bouncy at the same time. That's nice, yeah. That is, yeah, gorgeous. Just melt in the mouth cheddar. Really, yeah. really nice. All the wax has kept all that moisture in there. Loads of flavour. You've got a little bit of salt as well, slightly coming through as well. It's got really, that's yeah. really nice. Bags yeah. of flavour, really nice. Somewhere kind of between a black bomber and Bob esque but really. Yeah, exactly. Really um, 
Yeah, that's delicious. That would sell well. <laughs> okay, so appearance for me, I love anything small, cute. I think it's fantastic from a retail point of view. Um, that is probably like eight for me, I'd say. I think it's really lovely. I think it's a great size. Brilliant for a cheese board. I think it's I think it's really nice. Again, you're right. It's a retail kind of cheese. You put that in a shop and people say they're gonna they're gonna go for it, right? It's that interesting thing. Uh, so yeah, I'd be happy to give a name. And then I'd say aroma again. I got that as soon as I cut into the wax. I got that gorgeous smell from for a bit. So I would say around seven for me. Yeah, sounds good. I'm, I'm in agreement. I think this is a really nice cheese. Actually. Really nice. I could literally sit yeah. there. <laughs> um, and again, texture. I think that's really good. It melts in your mouth straight away, but it holds its shape. Yeah, so, it's so creamy. Yeah. yeah, that would be around a seven for me. I think it's really good. Yeah, we can go with seven. That's fine. And I would say seven again for a true to character because it's exactly what it what I expected. It's lovely. So probably, yeah. Did we miss flavour? We haven't done that. I think take I've got taste last, but maybe I've got them the wrong way. Okay. <laughs> you can do it either way. I, okay. Whatever makes sense to you. Um and I think taste, that's the it's the style of the show for it. It's got a really gorgeous flavour. So I would say eight for me. Yeah, I'd give it a nine on flavour. I think oh, really? it's really strong. Yeah. yeah, it's really nice. 0.5. Go on then. Go in the middle. Perfect. Yeah. Okay. And the next one is F101106. Yeah, that's what I jumped to. Okay, this is, looks unusual. It looks good. You've already unwrapped yours because you were ahead of the game. No. Am <laughs> I getting the wrong game? So I'm on 006 or. 10 one, one, zero, six, I've got. Is that right? One, zero, six. Yes, the hard one. Yeah. F10 one, one, zero, six. Amazing. Okay, this looks fab. Okay, so I've got that. Smells. Yeah, it smells really delicious. Well, that's really, it smells really sweet, really toffee, looks stunning. Yeah. Um, appearance, beautiful. Exactly what you think of a gouda, like really gorgeous, hard, yeah, colour. Um, you can see salt crystals running all the way through it. I think it looks stunning. Yeah. Aroma, just yeah, smells incredible. Mm, it's really, really I, I, the smell is the one that gets me. me. It looks really nice, but the smell is super nutty and yeah, yeah delicious. It's really good really really good that's like yeah really nice really nice strong gouda serious salt crystals in it though so you can taste the maturity of the cheese yeah and but again got loads of creaminess really nice i love that yeah it's a delicious cheese as you say the salt crystals you can really taste the age but it's got such a lovely flavor before you can get to them yeah Delicious. Yeah, that's very good. And also it's really lingering as well. It's actually quite strong. Yeah. In the that's beautiful. That's a really nice to talk about Um, so I'd say appearance for me, again, it's exactly what you'd expect. It's lovely. So I'd say probably seven for me. It looks really good. It's consistent. It's not too dry around the edges. Yeah. Really, really yeah, lovely. So even me. Yeah, I'd agree. Seven is good. Um, aroma. Again, it's, it like smells like cheese toffee. It's delish. <laughs> so um, I would say for me, probably like seven, eight. Yeah. Yeah, I'd go with eight probably. Yeah, that's very yeah. good. And then the texture um, is about, I think it's really nice. Again, holds its shape, but once you eat it, it melts in your mouth, which is exactly what you want. Um, so for me, again, I'd say around seven. Uh, yeah, yeah, I'm completely in agreement. I think it's a really nice cheese. Sorry, my battery's just running out of my computer. <laughs> and then true to character is exactly what I would I would think of a gouda, an English gouda. Um, yeah, it's a perfect representation, isn't it? It looks exactly yeah. like what you think. Yeah. It's, it's fantastic. It's really, really lovely. Um, so, yeah, I would say for me, probably around eight, nine, just because... Yeah. 
it's exactly what it should be and you get so many gouders that taste like nothing so really yeah let's go cool. let's go for eight and a half yeah yeah, yeah. Um, and then flavor and then taste i think it's delicious it would be an it would be like an eight nine ten for me yeah Just, i love that kind of cheese so i am a bit biased yeah, I think you've got to put it up there with the previous one. I think maybe yeah. I'll start thinking about them in light of others. So yeah, I'd say probably a nine. Yeah. Beautiful. Okay. Did you need to charge your battery? No, I've done it. I'm oh, having okay. it. Okay. Okay. So the next one is F10 1206. 1206. Okay. Have a look. I mean, it looks gorgeous. Yeah. Exactly what every cheese looks like in an illustration. <laughs> exactly that, isn't it? A cartoon cheese. Yeah. Gorgeous. Okay. Okay. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. Yeah. Okay. Yeah. The smell, I don't find like as strong as you could get with some no, lemon tiles or things like that. It's uh, yeah. it's quite subtle. Um. It looks like that kind of cheese, but then when you smell it, it's quite a subtle aroma to it. Yeah. Yeah, I think the appearance is perfect. There's not like a cheese um, out of place. It's beautiful, but the smell is a little bit sweet, not overpowering, but nice. Uh, the texture's nice. It is, yeah, I got that typical. The texture's nice, actually. It kind of melts. Um, as you eat it, it's a very mild cheese, I'd say. Yeah, it's very, very, very mild cheese, almost like milk in places. Yeah, very um, fun kind of. But, but I would say appearance um, would be around kind of seven for me because it looks beautiful. Um, I'd say aroma would be around the six mark, I'd say. Yeah, I'd, I'd say probably seven for seven for, for look and yeah, five, five and a half for, for aroma. Yeah. Um, texture is actually lovely, really kind of smooth um, when you eat it. So I'd mm -hmm. say around six, seven. Yeah. Um, true to character, it's it's not actually what I was expecting. I thought I'd get a little bit more flavour than that. Um, so for me, that would be around five. Yeah, I'd agree with you because with the look, you're expecting a certain type of thing and you don't necessarily get that. So yeah, I'd say five would be good. And taste, I think it's like a it's like a three, four for me. Um, just because there's not an awful lot there. Um, it's a mild cheese, but I think even mild cheeses have a bit more bite. Yeah, exactly that. I, I completely agree. I think that um, you look at it, it looks like that, as you say, classic piece of cheese that you'd imagine in every cartoon. And that doesn't, for me, doesn't completely deliver on flavour and it's a little bit milky in its taste. Yeah. Okay, and the next one's F1205. Yeah, amazing. Again, we've got a similar looking one. A similar looking, not as many holes, a little bit firmer. A little bit firmer and a little. The aroma is a bit stronger. Yeah. Smells good, actually. Okay. Take a look, look. That's more like it. Yeah. It's more what I was expecting from the last cheese. Yeah. Um, a bit more nutty. Yeah, a little bit more nutty. A little bit more textured as well, not quite as creamy, um, but still that melting flavour in your mouth. And Yeah, that's very good actually. Yeah. I don't know that one, it's between like a Jarlsberg and a Pompte. Good. Okay. Yeah. So again, look for me. Uh, let me look actually. So I would say, yeah, it's beautiful, nice match rind. Um, so like a six, seven for me on pairing. Yeah, 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 probably give it a seven again. And then, sorry, what was what was that? A seven. 
or six? Yeah, six and a half. Same, same as the last one? Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then aroma is a lot better. So I would say um, maybe a seven for aroma. Yeah, yeah, I'm happy with that. Yeah, better than the, better than the last cheese we're preparing to, I think definitely uh, more developed aroma. Um, so yeah, seven, seven and a half, something like that. And texture, I think the texture is actually really nice. It's quite close, but it's really delicious. Um, I would say for me, kind of round seven, eight on texture. Yeah, yeah we give it a seven for that, I think. Yeah, the texture is really nice. But I'd say true to character, this is exactly what we expected. So I imagine like a, I'd say about an eight, just because it's what you, we thought. Yeah, when you saw the cheese, you were, you were hoping for something a little bit different to the last one. You got what you were hoping for. Exactly. So yeah, I'd say about right. Like, and then taste, I think taste is gorgeous. I would say for me, it's an eight. I think it's really gorgeous and nutty and it's actually quite unusual um, for that type of cheese. Yeah, I'm, yeah. as I say, I, I'm, really, I'm really enjoying it. I know when I go back to them, I'm really enjoying them. Yeah. Um, I think it's quite unusual. I think it's much more developed than the last one. And um, yeah, I think eight, I'd be happy giving that eight. So was that seven for everything and eight for the um, flavour? was right was it yeah yeah i think so yeah yeah okay. and then the next one is f10 1207 I feel like we've almost got three versions of the same cheese. I know, I kind of feel that little bit. So you've got a lot more air pockets in this one. Yeah. Holes. For me, it's not the most appealing look. It looks a little, and I don't know if that's the packaging or what, but a little rubbery and plasticky, and it feels quite. Um, yeah, it's a lot more kind of plastic than the other textures, definitely. Yeah. Um, um, So yeah, it almost feels a little bit more uh, not as not as I would expect from this kind of cheese, I suppose. Yeah. Um, I'm not keen on that. Hello, Nelly. <laughs> no, I don't know about that one. It's quite mild. Um, it's it's yeah, a little less artisan than the other ones. I'd say there's a little bit more bounce to it. Yeah. Um, not as mature, not as nutty. Um, yeah, it's not got a lot of flavour. There's not really a lot there with that one. Yeah, it's not. Yeah, definitely compared to the last two we've eaten, I'd say yeah. it's not the same at all. Um, okay. um, I'm not really enjoying it. <laughs> it's, <laughs> yeah, it's very different. I would say appearance to me would be around a six on that one. Yeah, I'd give it yeah a five, I think, probably. Five and a half. Aroma. Is um, aroma. There's not a huge amount there. Just a tiny bit, a little bit milky, but not lots. Four, five? Yeah, I would have said so. Yeah. Um, yeah. The texture for me is not, I think it's a bit bouncy. It's a bit, um, yeah. It's it's an it's a probably a four three to four on the texture on that one for me. Yeah, I agree. Probably a four on texture. It's not it's not a flat texture that. Yeah. yeah. Um, true to character, not particularly. Um, I would say again four, just because I think we were expecting maybe something similar to the others. Yeah, completely agree. Yeah. Um, and then taste is. Taste is quite low for me. I would say anywhere between two and four. Sorry about my coffee. Yeah, why don't we hear a, a, a three in the middle there? Very hard to say. Yeah. Compared to the similar cheeses we tried before, yeah, I'd give it a three for, for flavour. Okay, and the next one is F10-1084. Oh, yeah. Oh, this smells delish. That looks really good. First of all, beautiful. 
really smell the chives. Really smell the garlic chive, yeah. Really delish. But actually really fresh as well, like very lactic. Yeah. So really nice kind of mix. I love it. That's yeah, really nice. So yeah, just garlicky, herby, but really fresh. No, in no way kind of artificial tastes. You can taste that there is fresh and... Yeah, I've had the garlic drive quite strong. Um, but yeah, there's no way artificial. You can definitely taste everything in there. Mm. But I think because it's such a young and lactic cheese, that yeah. always brings that out. And then the texture on top of that. The texture is really nice, actually. I love how it crumbles. That's really good. And creamy in the mouth. Mm. Very good. I'd say appearance for me would be, I love this kind of cheese. I love those bolder looking cheeses. I think they're beautiful. So for me, it would be anywhere between kind of eight and nine. I'd probably give it a six or a seven. It's not my favourite. So why don't we call it seven and a half, eight? Yeah, that sounds good. And then aroma, I think the minute I open that, you just smell that gorgeous freshness, which I think is lovely. Um, especially in a hard cheese, it's quite hard to find that real fresh flavour to it. Yeah. Um, so for me, I would say, again, seven, eight for me. Yeah, I'm, I'm happy to go with seven and a half. I think the aroma is really nice. I think you could smell everything that's in there. The freshness comes through. I think, yeah. And then texture, I think texture is a winner. I think it's crumbly. Again, it's got one of those Wensleydale, Yagi, Kafili, gorgeous crumble in your mouth. So um, for me, I would say anywhere between like seven, eight. Yeah, I'd give it, I'd give it an eight for texture. I think it's my favourite thing about this cheese is the texture. I love how it crumbles. You're right, like that Kafili kind of crumble. To yeah. it. And then true to character, again, it's a bit different, but it's lovely. I would say, again, eight. I really like this one. Yeah, I think it, 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 when you look at it, it's, yeah, it, it depends what you say is character and is that, but yeah, I'd be, I'd happy to, happy to um, defer to you and call it an A, because um, it depends what you're diving for and the character as. If the character is a garlic, herby, fresh cheese, and it's definitely true to character. Yeah. Yeah. Um, and then taste, I think it's delicious. I think this is kind of, it's, got a really strong flavour but non-offensive as we said you can taste all those flavours and the herbs and stuff come through um and I think especially at this time of year on cheese boards this is the type of cheese you want you want that freshness and it tastes like summer and spring so for me it's high up there it's like eight nine ten it's around there yeah for me just good to kind of can be a little bit dominant I'd give it I'd bring it to the bottom end of that and give it an eight but yeah, yeah I'd be happy. that's fair yeah yeah an eight yeah. Okay, Ooh. next one is F101067. Okay. I'm getting cheesier by the minute. Yeah. yeah. So this is gorgeous, obviously. Lovely gouda. And yeah. a lot more visible salt crystals going throughout, which is really pretty. Yeah. Appearance-wise. Okay, so. I really like the aroma of this. Yeah, this is, again, it's that like gorgeous toffee. Yeah. Nutty. Yeah, it's a lovely. Oh, so good. So like that kind of smell you get in when you walk into a Swiss fruit cheese shop and they have the huge wheels and it's got that lovely nuttiness to it. Yeah, that's like old Amsterdam, but with like a gorgeous creaminess going through it. Yeah. Really, really nice. My face is delicious. I love I love those cheeses that kind of almost bite the back of your throat. I was just about to say that. Yeah. <laughs> yeah. Numbs your gums a little bit. Yeah, exactly. 
Yeah, it's yeah. delicious. Really good. Um, so appearance for me, I mean, it's it's beautiful. It's a Gouda black rind, which is lovely. That is kind of aesthetically pleasing, um, very nice. So I would say for me, kind of eight, nine. Yeah, yeah I'd give it definitely, I'd say probably a nine on the appearance for me. I think it's almost a perfect version of that kind of cheese. Yeah, really yeah. good. Um, aroma, again, it's these cheeses when you open them. These are the type of cheeses you can smell like 20 meters down the road from my shop. <laughs> they are, you smell them before you see them. That's delicious. Yeah. Yeah. I would say, again, it's like 9, 10 on aroma. Yeah, I'd agree. I think it's a really strong cheese, this one. I think the smell, look, and, and flavour when you get onto it are all, are all really, really strong. So, yeah, 9 for me as well. Yeah, really good. Texture, I think when you've got salt crystals that are that dominant in the cheese, but it's beautiful. It just gives it a whole different texture completely. So for yeah. me, that would be, again, 9, 10. I think it's delicious. Yeah, I think, yeah, in terms of, of the cheese and what it is, I mean, uh, yeah, I'd, I'd say 9, 10 for texture, that kind of, we haven't given it a 10 yet, so maybe we should give it a 10 because we yeah. really enjoyed it, I think. So yeah, I'd give it a 10. Um, true to character, exactly what and more I think it that I thought it would be so basically trying to get my words out while still digesting it. <laughs> um, but yeah, it's exactly what I thought it would be, and a little bit more as well. I think it's gorgeous. Um, so for me again, like nine ten, I think it's lovely. Yeah, I think it's exactly true to character. I think yeah, as you say, maybe even a little bit more than than you'd expect from the character. And yeah, so yeah, I'd say ten again. Um, and taste. Really yummy, really nice. I can still taste it, which is always a really good sign. Um, so again, I'd say nine ten. I sound like I'm in love with this cheese, but I think it's really gorgeous. No, I mean it's it's it is a delicious cheese. I think it's um, as I said, it's one of those cheeses that you really enjoy. You wouldn't want to eat a whole wheel of it, but <laughs> it's one of those things that you really good things in moderation, right? But yeah, I think yeah, nine for me is definitely your favourite. Perfect. That's a good one. And the next one is F10-1068. Okay. Alrighty, looks good. So, Lot milder, but yeah, still got a nice grain to it. Younger and smoother. How much smoother? No salt crystals throughout. Not as mature. But really nice cheese, actually. Um, yeah, it's kept that smooth sweetness without the kind of characteristics of the last one that was the kind of crumbly and nuttiness. Mm -hmm. So again, if you're looking for a, a milder gouda, that's perfect. Yeah, I think it's, yeah. Yeah, really nice, very nice. Um, yeah, I'd say appearance, spot on, exactly what you think, you know, uh, quite consistent throughout, not too much kind of rind, not too dry, really, really smooth. Um, aroma. Aroma is, yeah, it's it's not massive. It's nice. I wouldn't say it's incredible. I'd just say it's quite a nice aroma, right? Yeah, it a nice aroma. Not like the last one, but it's got a nice, yeah. you know, smell to it. Texture, I think, again, it's completely different because we've gone from crumbly to very, very smooth. This yeah. really melts in your mouth instantly, which is actually really good. Um, yeah, it's not my kind of texture. But it is it is nice. It's, yeah. it's definitely uh, it's definitely a good cheese. Um, just not necessarily for me, as you say. If you're looking at the milder end, it'd be something that someone would, would choose yeah. or select. Yeah, massively. If they came to the shop asking for a mild gouda, that's perfect. Yeah. Um, so for appearance, for me, I would say it'd be up there with kind of seven. Um, aroma again, it's got a nice smell to it, but not massive. So five six. Yeah, I'd agree with that. I'd say yeah, probably five on aroma. Yeah, seven on appearance. Texture's actually lovely. So it'd be seven, eight on texture for me. 
Um, yeah, I'd go, yeah, I'd go with, yeah, I'd go with seven and a half on texture. Um, and then true to character, exactly what it is, it's a gouda, it's lovely. Um, it's not the strongest in the world, but it's not very mild and flavorless, it's, it's nice. So um, for me, it would be around seven, I'd say. Yeah, I completely agree with that. As you say, it is, it is what it says. It's just a slightly different version, especially for the last one. And it depends what you like. But I'd say, yeah, probably around seven it is what it is. Um, and then taste, I would say, um, taste would be, what would taste be? Maybe like six, seven? Yeah, I'd probably put it in the sixth category. It's just yeah. not, I don't think it's bad. It's just not necessarily for me. I think it's actually quite a nice cheese, but um, yeah. it's just my style. Perfect. And the last one is F10-1006 for this one. Yes. It was one of about five times so far. <laughs> okay, so this is quite unusual. Yeah. Really different. Um, okay, so you can see there's, I think it's nigella seeds going throughout, yeah. but it is yeah, not. No, no, nigella seeds in there. Yeah. Beautiful aroma. Looks a bit like a kind of English Verumi style. That's yeah, exactly what I was thinking. It's exactly what it, <laughs> it doesn't necessarily feel like it's got the rubbing of rubber in a no. Yeah, but that just may be the making because there's still a lot of moisture in it. So yeah. I guess that's to do with the pressing. And yeah, as you really said, smell, smell the Nigella. Yeah, you really smell the Nigella. Yeah. mean English really me. Um, nice texture. Again, actually, apart from my jello, that's a lot of what I can taste. But I imagine when this is cooked, I'm sure it's a really interesting flavour. Um, I think because it's cow's milk, it's not necessarily what we'd expect from a halloumi. Mm -hmm. uh, but nice. Yeah, I think the texture is quite nice. Actually. I was yeah. expecting I wasn't expecting the texture to be as nice. I have to say the, the dominant flavour when you eat it like this is the Nigella. Yeah. Um, and not necessarily, yeah, it's not, it's not, it's not bad. It's quite interesting, actually. And yeah. I'm sure if you cooked it, you'd get um, a completely different outcome. Um, exactly. And it's not too close as well. The, the, no. you can tell the curds haven't been completely squashed or nothing. Yeah, exactly. Um, which means that I imagine when that's cooked, it's probably gorgeous. And there's mm. a lot of moisture in it, so I imagine it would be a really fully and stringy, gorgeous yeah. Nigella English halloumi. Mm. <laughs> um, appearance, what would you score it? Yeah. <laughs> appearance, um, I think it's actually really interesting. It's nice uh, to have Nigella in it. It's a bit different. So I would say seven for me. Yeah, um, that sounds good. Um, for aroma, again, it's just Nigella I'm smelling, um, but I would give that maybe a five, I'd say, on aroma. Yeah, yeah, I'd give it a four or five, I'd go four and a half, I think, probably, just because it is quite dominated by the Nigella. Um, texture, though, I think, as we said, it's an interesting texture, especially for that kind of cheese, so maybe kind of six, seven on texture. Yeah. Um, true to character. As I said, we recognised it as a halloumi, so that's always a good sign. Um, to say maybe like six, seven. Yeah, sounds good to me. And then taste, I would say, again, imagining when it's cooked, I bet it's absolutely gorgeous. So with that in mind, maybe a seven. Yeah, I think, yeah, for me, the taste is, yeah, I think it's quite hard to judge what something tastes like when it's cooked yeah. and you're raw, but um, yeah, yeah, six, maybe six and a half. I think that's fair, yeah. Yeah. Okay, so there is a clear winner that is F101067. You both have it. Is that right? Is that going to be that one? It's the black one. F101067. This one. Yeah, there was one that you said oh. old, old Amsterdam. Oh, of course, yeah, sorry. I'm getting confused with that <laughs> right. This yeah, it was yeah, it was definitely that one. Yeah, I think that was the clear winner. Yeah, I was about to say that's the one I love the most, but then I've got yeah. confused with what we scored. Yeah, I, know. I think that was definitely. Very... Just, it lost a point on appearance and a point on aroma, but then everything else she marked it as a ten. I mean, yeah, yeah I'd say it's fantastic. Yeah, really? I, I agree with that. clear winner. 
Yeah. Okay. Lovely. So I would like to thank our, our judges um, and also the, our sponsors who sent the judges packs South South Carnarvon Creameries and Butler's Farmhouse cheeses for our aprons. And um, we're looking forward to the live event, which is happening on Friday the 13th of May, judging the best of classes in the categories, best English, Irish, Welsh, and Scottish cheeses, along with the awards that will recognise the talented and passionate people within the industry. And the day will culminate with the award of the supreme champion of cheeses um, 2022 thank you very much thank you